having come desperately close to their first ever home victory in their previous game against Scarlets, Zebra travelled to Edinburgh looking for their second away win of the campaign with seven of the nine recent international call-ups in their starting 15. Having beaten Treviso at Murrayfield last time out, Edinburgh were seeking a second win in a row against Italian opposition. Alan Solomon's side showed eight changes, but came into the game in confident mood, having recorded four victories at home in their last five games in all competitions. After a scrappy opening period, it was the visitors who took the lead in the 17th minute when out half Luciano Orquera landed a penalty to make it three points to nil. But the Scots responded well, and after good work from Doogie Fife in the build-up, Fullback Greg Tonks got over for a try in the corner, his second in as many matches. Harry Leonard failed with the conversion attempt, but Edinburgh had their noses in front, 5-3 ahead with 20 minutes on the clock. That lead would be extended in the 28th minute. Like Tonks, WP Nell was a try scorer for Edinburgh in their previous match, and he was on the mark again in this one. The try not too dissimilar to the one he notched against Treviso, Nell using his strength to push his way over from close range. Leonard was successful with the conversion this time, and the home side led 12 points to three. One thing about Zebre this season is that they seem a lot more resilient than last, and shortly after that setback, they got over. Leonardo Sarto doing the spade work before Tommaso Iannone found the gap and pounced for the try. Sharp play from the man from Treviso. Okera scored the conversion and Zebre were right back in it, 12-10 behind. And just before half-time, things would get even better for the Italians. They stretched the game across the pitch before finding Sarto, who dived over the line for his third try of the campaign already. And significantly, it gave Zebre a 17-12 half-time lead when Orquera did really well to convert from out wide. Early into the second half, Edinburgh steadied the ship when Leonard landed a penalty to bring his side back to within two points. Then in the 56th minute, they struck after good work from the grunters up front. They pummeled the Italians, and Cornel Dupriz pushed his way over the line for a significant try for Edinburgh, and a significant try for the South African, his first ever for the club. And when Leonard tagged on the extra two points, Edinburgh led 22-17. Leonard was successful with another penalty in the 63rd minute, this one from in front of the posts to make it 25-17. But once again, Zebre refused to lie down. Three minutes later, Orquera kicked a penalty to bring the Italians back to within five points of the Scots. It would lead to a tense and dramatic conclusion to the game. With six minutes remaining, Orquera was again on target with another penalty to leave Edinburgh just two points ahead, 25-23. But despite their best efforts, Zebre were unable to get another score. Although, Orquera came desperately close with a late, late drop goal attempt. Unfortunately for him and Zebre, it was wide and right. And Edinburgh hung on for a narrow win, but a very important one for the Scots nevertheless. Zebre get a losing bonus, but for the second week in a row, they must be thinking it could have been more. Final score at Murrayfield, Edinburgh 25, Sebrae 23.